So this is a test of the slip ring with the new server boards installed and I wanted to demonstrate how the power and, um, and the signals are going to ride up to the dome and actually demonstrate that working. Okay, So let's go in and take a look at the various components. So this is my electrical back panel. It looks busy, I know. But the main thing I want to point out, this is my receiver here. It's actually a VEX microcontroller in all intents and purposes for this test. It's functioning just like any other receiver. Um, it's got various outputs, server outputs here that obviously I write through to my speed controllers over here. Um, but then I also have an additional cable coming off that with a signal in it that will ultimately write up through the dome. So let's take a look at the various components inside. Um, this is the other end of that cable and it's plugged into those little boards that I made. Um, on the bottom here is the power coming in, that's 12 volts that routes through um, the board and then into the plug at this the, the other end of the, the slip ring. And then in the middle, there's a row of pins, standard th uh, three pin um, headers that you plug in your, your server um, signal connections in. So I have 12 of those. Um, I won't be using all of them, but I've you know built it in because obviously the slip ring has a, a more connection than I need. So it's probably worth pointing out at this point that um, I'm not routing all three signals from this wire. So there's, you know, typically there's a um, the, the control signal, that's on white on this one, sometimes it's yellow, but that's the control signal, and then there's red and black, that's uh, 5 volts or 6 volts, and a ground. I'm not running those up through the dome at all, I'll rebuild that in the dome from, from this, the 12 volt power that I'm setting up. So that's the, the cable you can see routes up, there's the slip ring here, and then at the top here I have another board very similar. Okay, so this is the plug, the detail plug that comes through and plugs into my second board. Um, let me see what other things do I have up here. So this is my RF remote, um, my power distribution board that will rebuild um, my 5 volts, 6 volts, 9 volts, whatever else I need up here. I also have this little board here. Um, this is a 24 volt converter. It takes this 12 volts and ups it to 24 volts for my real logic. And again, that comes in from the, the, the same, six, um, same 12 volts. So back to the little board. Um, I'm not sure if you can see it clearly here, but again, I have all these header pins, and this time connected to it is a little servo. Okay, so that's um, going to be driven from the same signal that's going to come up from my receiver. Um, so off the board as well is the 12 volts. So 12 volts comes in through the, the cable through here into my power distrib distribution board to right around. I also have um, then I tap off the power distribution board and bring back power for the servos. So right now it's it's uh, 6 volts, that could be 5 volts. I think servos typically run between 4.5 and 6 volts. So right now this is 6 volt power coming back in. And that then re is rebuilt on the middle rail on those, um, those header pins here. And the outer one is the ground pin. And the first one on the far left is the row of control signals that came in via the slip ring, okay? So let's see if it works. Let's um, spin the dome. It's spinning smoothly. And let's see if this little servo is going to twitch. It's not going to go very far, but it'll... Um, and that's it. That signal has been routed from the receiver in the main body through the slip ring. And as I have it configured right now, I have 12 channels coming through, 6 and then 6 additional channels allocated to ground and power. So I could potentially run 6 servers through, typically your average receiver is about, uh, let me see, it's about 6 channels, 10 channels, something like that, maybe 9. Um, but I will, I'll have other microcontrollers and other things in the body as well, so I can have a lot of room for expansion. So that's it. Um, that's it. So it's working, okay?